Well, I thought I'd start today's video outside because, believe it or not, the sun is actually shining here in Uneaton. And what a beautiful coloured car for it to shine upon. A yellow EP3. It's in for a map on a K100 board. It's already been mapped before, previously by another company. And uh, we're just doing our thing. We're gonna see if we can improve upon that. It's a dedicated track car. So let's get it on the dyno at that point, see what she makes and start shooting. There we go. I tell you what, it's very nice in here as a dedicated track car. It's very, very pretty. Let me flip this camera around and show you. It's got some beautiful bucket seats. It's fully stripped out. Yeah, I'm getting the full. I'm getting the full experience of an EP3 track car. Let's make some power. Let's let's find our Richard and see if we can't get him to tweak this up. And she's in. Bit lower down today because of these seats, I think. Go on, you speak first. Well, you, know, you, you speak first now. You, you take the role, don't you? Normally, I just, I just thought I'd mention the seats because we were trying to get a camera angle right there, and we seemed like we we're sitting. A bit I like, lower. I like this car. It is a yellow track car, uh, a yellow EP3. It's been tuned previously. Number sixteen thousand seven hundred ten, just in for everyone. Limited so. edition. It's uh, been mapped previously four years ago, and the customer wanted to refresh it. He's been a YouTube follower. 
you wanted to come down and let us do our thing and we certainly have done that and whilst yes it was tuned professionally before um we've made a little gain haven't we yeah but you don't know if mods have been changed slightly in, yeah, in a period of time so whilst that car this car was tuned on a k100 board four years ago by a, a well-known tuner um that doesn't necessarily mean that the vehicle hasn't had modifications since, does it? No, sure. I mean, it's got a, a Tegua 4 to 1 manifold, a Tegua 70mm exhaust system, which sounds amazing, by the way. Um, it's got an M2 inlet manifold, a Tegua letterbox carbon intake thing, and a 70mm throttle body. Yeah. I think the only improvements there, to me, would be the M2 castings are not brilliant, like we talked about before. They're not as nice inside, uh, and they're certainly cheaper. Um, you pay your money, take chance. Yeah, pay your money, take chance. I think the Skunk 2 stuff is obviously better. I would possibly go with an Ultra Series on this vehicle if it was mine, um, coupled with a better induction kit. Again, you know, we've talked about it many times. We're not a big fan of the letterbox airbox, but like I say, in our situation, we do make more power on other kits. But obviously, on a track day, maybe when you've been out 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or whatever, yeah, maybe that would perform better. You know, colder air intakes, uh, temperatures, and so on. But you so what you're giving. Yeah, we map with what we're given, so we've obviously we've mapped for what we've got today. I think we finished on two three five, which was a just shy two, five three, brake horsepower. Yeah, five brake horsepower peak. Uh, yeah. I think about ten in the mid range. Ten in the mid range, a little dollop of torque there as well, which is nice. Yeah, a little dollop of torque in the mid range, and then done. I mean, obviously this car was already, like I said, already mapped, already had modifications. Clearly, uh, you know, it's not to say there was anything wrong with the map, but we're assuming that there's been some hardware changes, and then we've just tuned a little bit according to that. So we just like. Basically, ignition timing was all good. We've just basically uh, dialed in the cam timing a little bit um, and obviously smoothed the fueling out. There's a few areas of fueling that were a little up and down. But he again, wanted a little flame on a gear change. We gave him that as well. Yeah, he wanted pops and bangs, didn't he, on it's a gear really change? It's really nice in here, mate. And I think, you know, I think this is a, a good example. The paintwork, whilst yellow, the customer agrees, uh, not agrees, but he pointed it out, that whilst it is yellow, it's not the best job in the world, but it's going around a track. Mm. So yellow is probably the best colour year. It's you know not certainly not getting lost in the snow, is it? No, definitely if not. If it was a golf ball, you'd find it. Mm. Um, yeah, that's midweek, and I think we're pretty much done for the day. Yeah, I think we're midweek, like you say, midweek. We've not done a lot of mapping this week. We've sort of uh, been more mechanical work, haven't we, so Been far. in that paint shop a bit, ain't we? Yeah, been in the paint shop, in and out a bit, finishing some bits off and getting some stuff sorted. Um, Jensen decided that he was going to blow his clutch out of his car on Sunday well done, Jen, uh, so it. left me having to do a nearly 50 mile round trip to go and get him and then tow him to work and then send him home in the courtesy car it's like having another son ain't it it is really yeah so we've uh, we've we've put a clutch in that this morning and got him back on the road as well haven't we so we've done that um, if anyone's got a good cheap diesel so we're looking for probably a couple of grand on a diesel um, Preferably something VWC at that sort of vag. Maybe group. a Bora, a Golf, yeah, uh, something around that Leon. sort of thing. It's got to be a diesel because Jensen does the amount of miles he does. Uh, it's a little 1.4 petrol. I can't get him in a Colt, can I? No, he doesn't like Colts. He's, uh, he's borrowed the courtesy cars at 1.3 petrol and he doesn't like that either. So I don't think he's going to go for a Colt. No. Nope. He wants a uh, yeah. He wants something from the the VAG group. Uh, definitely diesel. Uh, bearing in mind he is only eighteen years old, so he's going to need something like a. We were looked at. I think the best sort of option all round is like a one point six TDI is what we've looked at. Yeah. Um, so something along that lines. Maybe a Bora, like I say, because he's got that air cut for it, ain't he? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Well, he's a vagist, ain't he? He's yeah. going to have to get converted. So he's got to have all that. Got to have all that floppy air, haven't you? If yeah. You, if you drive but well, I do understand he's got a lot of mileage to do every day, so he needs something decent yeah, for yes. now. Yeah. But uh, should we have a look at this graph? His girlfriend's going to be ever so disappointed, though, isn't she? Do you think? Yeah. What with a diesel? Uh, yeah, I think she'd prefer a Civic. Mm, maybe. Well, he can't afford to insure one, so. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at this graph. All right. Okay, so as we always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. Wow, what did you say? There we go. 234 brake horsepower, 189 at the wheels. Not bad at all. Uh, well, obviously, the code word is mellow yellow, although this is not mellow. It's pretty Larry. Uh, but yeah, mellow, mellow yellow. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that. Stick. Click on the notification bell to get more of our nonsense. And we'll see you on the next video. Hey, Rich. Yes. We'll see you on the next one, won't we, mate? We will indeed. We will indeed. Boy, I'll say it again. Wait, it was pretty fast.